Hi everyone, Mr. Peabody here. Uh, I'm doing this in night sessions, so at the moment it's like 2.13am. Uh, but uh, I'm going to teach you how to play guitar. But let's start with the basics, right? you got guitar, you got six strings. This is uh, a six-string six steel acoustic guitar. Um, I know you can get nylon strings and stuff like that. I never bothered with that. That's mainly for like flamenco music and and doing blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, that's not me. Uh, I I just wanted uh, to play guitar that got me enough to learn how to play guitar to actually make music. But uh, in order to start making music on guitar, you need to tune the guitar, right? So here's your tuning heads. They're called machine heads. Um, and you've got six strings, so they, you've got to tune the strings to what they need to be tuned to. Right, so the first string is E. You've got E, A, D, G, B, and E. So you got E on top, E on the bottom. So the same. Anyway, so that's what you got to tune your guitar to. So E, A, D, G, B, E. You've got to tune the guitar to that. Now, there's several ways you can tune the guitar. You can use a guitar tuner, which is easier. This guitar actually does have an inbuilt tuner. So I can actually just push this button here and you can see it lights up and it'll tell me what I'm playing um, but some guitars they, they don't have a tuner um, so you can actually use a, a pipe um, you get a tuning pipe or you can use um, a clip-on tuner um, these are cheap as chips um, you can buy one of these for about 14 bucks on eBay um, and all they do is you clip them onto the head of the guitar up here and uh, you turn them on and it actually will be able be able to tune your guitar but if you don't have that you can actually tune your guitar by ear right so as soon as you get one of your notes example example would be the E note if you go to the fifth fret so you got E F G A so you know the second string is actually tuned to A so so this should be the same as this uh, and it, that works along the along the frets so it's like uh, so if you go to the fifth fret so E you go to the fifth fret you go A if you go to the fifth fret on A you've got your D. And if you go to the fifth fret on the D, you got G. And if you go to the, so actually no, this is where you drop down. You drop down one fret. So on the on the G string you drop down one fret and you've got the B. And then you go back up one fret on the B on the on the B string, and you've got the E. So that's how to tune it by ear. To tune by ear is is fairly simple. If you know the song and you know what chords are being played in the song, um, you can actually listen for the chord. So so if they're playing an E. There's, there's your E, uh, so you can start with that, and then tune the whole guitar. Um, some people can just do it off, you know, that they know. It's like, um, but the other way you can do it is by pentatonics. So it's like, um, you can do this. So at the 12th fret. Uh, 
Uh, so you know if, if they're off, if that doesn't sound right, then you know your guitar's out of tune. If, you, if your guitar is not in tune, then it doesn't matter what you play, it's going to sound like crap. Uh, so, but you know that when it comes to music, you got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's that's your notes, right? Same on the guitar. They're all your notes, right? So you start with, you know, if you start with A, um, you'd start here. A, B, C, D, E. It, it, it works. There's, there's no gap between um, B and C and E and F. Right, but every other. So in other words, you got A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. So that's how you're working. Um, but you don't need to know that for now. What you want to know is how do I play a basic song? Well, you're going to play it with open chords. Right, which are the chords all the way down here, right? That's the easiest way to do it. So you can play an E, you can play an A, you can play a G, a D. But there's five basic chord structures that you need to know. But once you know those structures, you can actually play them all the way up and down the guitar. But uh, let's start with something basic. No chords, right? Here's something that you probably would recognise, right? Now I'm not I'm not touching anything. All I'm going to do is hold the guitar and do this. Who doesn't recognise that? Now to expand on what they actually do um, there's something you've got to understand about Nothing Else Matters by Metallica it's like it's not one guitar doing it yeah, it sounds like one guitar but it's not it's actually uh, about five or six tracks of of the same thing that's actually creating the sound so you've got the So it's, 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 never as, it's never what you actually think it is. All I'm going to teach you is basic guitar. So I've taught you how to tune it. So E, A, D, G, B, E. That's how you tune the guitar. So once you've got that, get your favorite music. Get a song that you like and get the sheet music. You can look it up online. Um, mind you, if you look it up online, sometimes they'll give you sheet music that's not actually correct um, it's someone's interpretation of the music uh, but if you actually get the sheet music for what you want to learn um, it's it's easier to do with older songs uh, because they'll actually they'll sell you books of the actual sheet music that they use like the Beatles uh, aha um, Rolling Stones all that stuff you can buy books of their sheet music um, the stuff you get online is actually an interpretation. Um, so someone will, will listen to a song and say, "This is what this is what I play to make this song happen." And if you play it, it's like it's going to be off, off kilter. But um, but you basically you you'll start with your open chords, which are going to be E, E minor, A. A minor, even your D's, D minor, and G. So, you, but your main shapes are going to be E and A, even if you're going up here. So, I can play E down here, or I can play it all the way up here, or I can play A. 
the E and the A shape when you come to the bar chords is what you're going to be using. So if I can play C with an A shape here. And I can play a D here. Same chord, just different place on the guitar. Um, but uh, that's just a thought. And by the way, this is a plectrum. People call it a pick or a plectrum. Um, and this is a steel string, steel string guitar. If you're learning on a steel string guitar, it's going to hurt your fingers. And until you get the muscle memory on what to actually push, it's going to be tricky. But when you start out, don't worry about what we're doing here. Don't worry about that stuff. Just do basic strums. Just do basic strums and just all you all you're looking for is a clean note. So that's all I've got to say for now and next time I'll teach you something else.